And we're back guys, welcome to the Josh Olufemi channel. We are a group of teachers with the passion of shoring up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Today, Quinn Murphy's gonna be going over yet another incredible product video that she made right inside her house. Thank you, Josh, for that intro. What's up guys, it's Quinn. Good to be back on the channel. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down how I conceptualized and shot this product video from home. This is by far one of my favorite setups that I've done to date, and I'm really excited to walk you guys through how I came up with this idea and how I executed it. This is totally something you could do at home with a few props and some budget-friendly equipment. So the company Stableford Golf reached out to me and asked me to shoot some content of their golf wallet. This is a wallet that has a lot of cool features made for golfers. The first thing I did was get all the details I needed from the client. The length of the video, the feel of the video, branding, target audience, exactly how the product functions, any text that will be overlaid, things like that. It's super important to make sure you talk to the client before anything, to make sure you're both on the same page and you have all the information that you need. Once I got all those details, I started to come up with my idea. I wanted this one to be super visual heavy, basically act as an introduction to the product, something to catch the eye and get someone interested. I wanted people to immediately register that this was a product centered around golf and overall just wanted to bring the product to life. So my final idea was to have the wallet on a golf tee, hit with a golf club, fly into the air over a golf course, and land on the grass. When I pitched it, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to pull it off. I can't shoot at a golf course. It's the middle of the winter, there's snow everywhere on the ground, so I can't even film on grass. Everything had to be done in studio. Let's break down my setup. First thing I did was go to Home Depot and buy a $20 grass rug. This would be my foreground. Then for my background, I use my TV. So I hooked up my TV to my laptop and I pulled up a royalty free image of a golf course. You can also use a green screen or a blue screen for something like this. The reason I didn't do that was usually I prefer to have everything in camera and using a TV as a background is a great hack to see how everything looks in camera and save you a lot of time editing. So then I had to rig up the wallet. For this, I took a block of wood and drilled a T size hole into the center. And then I had to try and attach the wallet to the T. I actually gorilla glued a paper clip to the back of the T. And so that is what the wallet leaned up against. Once the setup was ready to go, I started filming. The opening shot was a hand placing the wallet into the T hole. Then the next shot was just a close up of the wallet. So that way I could play some text. And then it's the golf swing shot. For this, I attached some fishing wire to the back of the wallet. And as the golf club was being swung, I pulled the fishing wire to have the wallet fly out of the frame. Then I had to make the wallet fly over a golf course. I set up my green screen. I hooked some fishing wire to the wallet had it spin and shot it at 120 frames per second so I could slow it down in post. I did a medium shot and a close up shot because I wanted the wallet to fly really close to the camera. So I needed those really tight details. For the editing of this, I brought these clips into After Effects and added a bunch of little tweaks and techniques to make it fly and look realistic and transition to each side of the wallet. This product flying movement green screen technique is something I use a lot. And I have a product video course that's out now where I go into super detail on how to shoot, edit, and add all these little techniques and tweaks to pull off this effect. Basically go from this to this. Click here to enroll and we've also placed the link in the description. So feel free to check it out. And for the end shot, which is a landing shot of the golf wallet, I staged a scene with a flag, some tees, a golf ball, basically just filled out the frame with some golf things to wrap up the whole video and have some room in the center for some text. And that's how I created this video. Once again, I wanna emphasize that this is totally something you could do. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need a super large space. 
space. You can build out these little worlds in your living room or your basement or your bedroom. You can be super resourceful and still make a sick video. Again, I have a product video course out, which is linked below. If you wanna learn how to create videos like these and get paid for them and get clients and get monthly work, all of that is in this course. So feel free to check it out. I appreciate you guys. See you next time. Quinn, thank you so much for yet another incredible tutorial. Please make sure to like this video, share it with all your friends, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to keep it chill.